Hi, this is the second example. The second example asks us to find the eighth term in the sequence 4, 16, 64. Again, we already know that this is a sequence. Let's now identify whether it's arithmetic or geometric. 4, to become 16, what should we do? To become 64, what should be done to 16? So, ano kaya ang nangyayari dito? Paano naging 16 ng 4 at paano naging 64 ng 16? Wonderful! We see that we are multiplying these by 4. So, we are multiplying by 4. And if you could see the dot dot dot, this is now the ellipsis. Anak, ito yung nalilito kayo nun sa ellipse. Ellipse yung conic section. Ellipsis, itong dot dot dot. Which means it would continue on the same pattern for infinity. Until infinity. Until forever. Vesh, buti ba dito may forever, no? Anyway, now that we know that it is a geometric um, geometric sequence, let's solve for the eighth term. Geometric sequence, that means the formula that we will use is this one. Now let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. And a sub n would now be a sub 8 equals a sub 1 a sub 1, the first term is 4. So we have 4 times r. What's r? Ano yung minimultiply natin? It's also 4. So 4 raised to n. And n here is 8. Because it's the, uh, we're looking for the 8th term. So that's the nth term. 8 minus 1. So we have a sub 8 is equal to 4 times 4 raised to 7. At syempre, Besh, hindi ko na kaya itong no, no, manual Mag-calcule na po tayo. Kaya, ayan, di ba? Napakaganda ng invention ng ating mga sikat na ano daw, mathematicians and scientists. Thank you for, the invent uh, for inventing the calculator. And the answer is A sub 8 is equal to 65,536. Nampasobra tayo. Ayan. 65,536. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the final answer for this example. Ayan, mali yung kulay. Double box na lang net. I never made it.